Hey guys, ah, I got the surface of the sun here. My wife's lamp light. I guess she likes to, she work under bright lights. Um, so uh, I wanted to take a quick video um, to just explain a little bit more about this YouTube channel and the topic that I was talking about with the interviews. So this YouTube channel to me has become just a couple videos, pretty therapeutic. I like talking. Uh, I like uh, taking one take and trying my best at it and seeing if I don't make any mistakes and get my thought across without any notes. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about the way things are coming out. Some camera angles weren't perfectly lined up, but um, it, it's also helping me internally. You know, uh, I went through um, something with, with jobs in the, in the last five years where I had a real hard time figuring out where I fit, you know, 30s, mid 30s, uh, where I fit at these jobs and, you know, the type of role that I had and have. And um, again, being a stay at home dad talking about that in the last video. But this, this experience with the state jobs, I want to help people as well. This uh, paying attention to the red flags. Okay. And I'm going to be quick about this. Well, basically, I was working at a place started as a meter reader township and uh, you get the job day one you know you meet the people in the office they're all very nice you know they're cut from a different cloth than the guys and the women in the field uh it's very family oriented very friendly talking about all the fun things that they have there to look forward to and then you get out into the garage or the field uh, wherever the, the group of the people are out there meeting up you know and you realize there's a whole different opinion. There's a whole different hierarchy. Uh, and, and who's been here for whatever long and how many things does this person know and this person doesn't know and who's in charge of what and this guy thinks the other person doesn't know what they're doing. And you start to get the the dirty underbelly of the sewer company. <laughs> and it's all good because think about it. You're spending eight hours to 10 hours a day, 40 hours a week, you're on call with these people. You're flushing uh, fire hydrants in the middle of the night. You're running a vac truck. You're, you're, you're doing stuff that, you know, uh, you're with these people, you know. And you start very quickly to realize, wow, like, okay, this is different than working with my neighbor in construction where, you know, it was an easy job, carry sheetrock and just, you know. Uh, this type of place you're under the microscope, not only by the bosses, because they want to know what you're about, but also the co-workers. And then the rules. This is a public position, so you're under public perception. So you're in a truck with the <laughs> the logo on the side of it going down the town you grew up in, okay? And now you can't do the things that you normally do in your town. You can't go to, you know, the the the, uh, the fast food, you know, you know, you can't go get the donut, okay, the coffee, whatever you guys are into. You can't stop off and, because everybody's watching, okay? There's people on the boards. There's people in in the bloodstream that are just out there in the field waiting to say, hey, I pay you your salary and you're out here. You know, three guys are painting the curb. Well, yeah, three guys. Need, I need to hold the brush. He opened the can, you know, and she has got the light on so that we don't get hit. So there's three people painting the curb. So, but the, 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 that's the, you know, that's the funny, the, the red flags that I ignored and became more like these people, these, these, these people, meaning the negative side of what they were experiencing was becoming some, something that I was starting to feel weight on me. So, uh, you know, you're never going to get anywhere. The money's low. Why are you working so hard? You know? Uh, this guy don't know nothing. Don't listen to him. He's a nice guy. I like him. I like him better than I like you. But he don't know nothing. Well, you know, you get very confused, discombobulated. I'm taking orders from a 25-year-old, right? I, don't, I was 35. I'm thinking I got something over on him. Why am I? I got to listen. He's got seniority. Oh, seniority. He went to school. He's got his welding cer per permit or <laughs> his welding certificate. I got to listen to him even though I welded five cars, you know? But he's going to tell me how to work. Okay, I'll listen to him. So you play the game. My father was very big. Learn to play the game. You know, yes, sir. You know, when you get pulled over by a police officer that's 18 and you're in your 60s, yes, sir. 
or whoever, you know, you show respect to the, to the law, but I'm just saying it's, it's, it's a struggle sometimes, um, to understand where to be with this. And do you work hard? Do you push yourself to show the managers in the office and maybe your foreman that you care? Or do you not do that so your coworkers don't put a target on your back and say, this guy, is, you know, he look, does look bad. Well, I really can't work any slower, man. You know, <laughs> or, or, you know, I have, I had a job with my buddy. I was with friends for, for years and I'm digging a hole. We're digging a hole, man. Don't you know how to dig, man? I'm like, well, where are you coming from? We've been friends for 20 years. We dug holes all day and night. We were digging bike jumps. He's yelling at me about how I'm digging the hole or how I drive the van. Hey, man, when you back up, man, what are you looking over your shoulder, man? You in a van. Use your mirrors. Well, I never drove a van. This is this big, I got this big potato sack van back here. I can't see nothing anywhere. I'm looking at the mirrors. The mirrors are pointing up. Whatever. Watch out for the red flags. Don't let people's being disgruntled start to wear on you. And don't bring it home. Especially when your wife or spouse is in a situation where maybe they're pregnant, busy, worried about their family members. Uh, maybe somebody had a death in the family. There's things in people's lives that happen. And to bring that stuff home, I was bringing it home. Okay, And I wasn't happy. And I'm thinking I'm doing something good because I got good benefits, got a pension, all the things that everybody tells you you need. So, uh, and then understand that managers are meant to motivate. And it don't mean positive reinforcement. They might get you mad. I walked at another place and this guy would come in every day and yell at people. You did this wrong. This is stupid. I went over there. I saw this. It looked like garbage. All it did was made you hate him, hate him, right? But you did it because you didn't want to hear it. And you worked harder and harder. I'm carrying buckets of sewage out thinking like somebody's watching me in the woods. Anxiety builds. Stress builds. Oh, like the, like the first weekend, so-and-so didn't do this right. In front of the boss, they're telling me that I messed up. Just to call me out in front of the, the big boss. This is like the guy. Like, why would you do that? Where's your humanity? And I realized very quickly, I'm in a den of snakes and they're not meant to be snakes. They're not bad people. They just, this place breeds it. So watch the red flags for yourself and leave the job. Sorry. I've never been a quitter in my life. And since these jobs, I have taken these different jobs on. It's been hard, but... Um, the, 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 the trick is, is that don't leave in a bad way where you burn a bridge, you say things you don't mean, or you put your family in trouble. And that's what I did. I did all those things. Um, and uh, it hurt. It hurt my family. It hurt me. One of the guys I hated so much, uh, thinking he had it out for me, found out he had it, he had a stroke and died. And I'm like, horrible. He felt bad. Like now it's like miserable. Like, wow. So... And, and, and we're still alive, you know, we're carrying this stuff on. So I remember it and I think back and now I'm trying to say to my friends and, and people that I'm seeing online and new friends I'm making here, you know, watch out for the red flags. If you're in a position where you're not happy, try to figure out a better way before you leave. Get yourself established. Don't stick it out if you're miserable and you can't find a, a, a way to breathe. If you have to stay at a job, look for help. Talk to people. I know it's hard for people, especially me, you know, to go and say, I need to talk to somebody. This is really bad because you feel like you're going to be ratting on people. Uh, the only alternative is to leave. And I have a buddy and we talk a lot. And <laughs> one thing, you say one thing wrong, we're gone. I quit. Whoop, gone. Because my life is too short. Now, be responsible about this. Try to figure out a way to better yourself. Get your resume always up to date. If you see things going downhill, make the right decisions, okay? Don't do like I did. Don't leave in the in the middle of the day, walk out, say, I'll never see you guys ever again. Laugh it up. Go to the fast food place that I wasn't allowed to go to with the company truck because it had the, time, the sign on the side. <laughs> and, and, and do it the right way, but don't ignore them. I know a lot of people, 10, 15 years, they hated their job. 
15 years, hated your job every day. The guys telling me they pull over on the side of the road and they're throwing up because they can't make it to work because they hate their job. What? You're taking it home with you. You're not managing it correctly. Uh, I tried meditation. I tried. I didn't. I didn't drink. I don't smoke. That's probably one of the reasons why I don't deal with stress as well. But I learned a lot about the stress and how it affects me and the anxiety that builds. I'm a better man for it. However, so being said, from behind my wife's desk where she works all day for me. Now, um, as at least you can tell here that I'm a brutally honest person with myself. I might not be as honest with others if I feel something about them. It might be hard for me to tell them how I feel, but I could definitely tell you how I feel about myself because I don't worry about hurting myself. I want people here to learn uh, that there's a better way than holding it in. And maybe before you get into a position, think about it. I didn't think. I went right to those jobs because they were good paying jobs and I was going to impress maybe my wife or uh, family or it was a good paying job or pension, you know. Anyway, as you can tell, I'm proud to be an American and that's something I... Uh, I'm not apologizing for, even though America's a little different, but that's another video for another time.